morning everyone i hope you're all okay today is wednesday the 3rd of february 2021 and we are going to learn to divide by five so the first thing we're going to do is some counting practice in fives as that will really help us today so there are six questions for you to pause and have a go at remember our time sign our multiply sign means lots of you could use some small objects the number grid or count on your fingers pause now and give those a go Okay, let's have a look. One times five, one lot of five. Now, I didn't need to make a group to do this one because I know that if I've only got one lot of five, that's just five, isn't it? Take or fix that one. Seven times five. Ooh, I can count in fives. I'm going to use seven fingers and count in fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Tick or fix your answer. Well done, everybody. Four times five. Mm, I'm going to look at my number grid for this one. Maybe you had objects and made four groups of five. I'm going to jump up four groups. One, two, three, four. Jumping up four lots of five made 20. Tick or fix. Six times five. I can count in five. So I've got six fingers. Five, ten, 15, 20. 25, 30. I think I'm finding my fingers the easiest way. I wonder what way you're finding the easiest. Hmm, something times five equals 40. Hmm. Okay, so I know how to count in fives. Now I'm going to keep counting in fives until I get to 40. Okay, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. I counted eight lots of five. So the answer is eight times five is 40. Something times five is 60. Okay, I'm going to use my grid for this one. So I'm going to count in jumps of five, they're my blue numbers, and stop when I get to 60. So I count up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. That took me 12 jumps. So 12 times five is 60. You could then count in fives 12 times to check your answer if you wanted. Well done, everybody. Let us know how you got on. Today, the first thing we're going to do is practice grouping and sharing fives. Then we are going to look at how to divide by five. And then we're going to solve a word problem by dividing. Let's do some grouping and sharing practice. So I would like you with the number 15 to place it into groups of five, maybe using small objects to help you, and then write the number sentence, the division sentence, and then share between five and write the division sentence. Pause now and give that a go. The first thing I asked you to do was to put 15 into groups of five. So I have 15 small objects here, and I'm going to place them into groups of five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I had 15 and I placed them into groups of five. That has given me one, two, three groups. So I know that 15 grouped into fives equals three. That's my number sentence. 15 divided by five equals three. Let us now look at sharing. I've got my 15 cubes and I'm going to share them into one, two, three, four, five groups. So I'm going to really carefully, one at a time, sharing my 15 cubes out. All done. I had 15 and I've shared into five groups and that has given me one, two, three in each group. So this time my number sentence is 15 shared between five equals three. Look at that, they are the same. If you write this for one of them, if you write 15 divided by three equals five, that is 
also correct. Well done. You've remembered that when we learnt it last week, we learnt it doesn't matter which way round we put these two numbers, the answer's still the same. It does matter which way round we put the first numbers, the biggest number has to come first. Let's look at this number sentence. It says 10 divided by 5 equals. So we're dividing by 5 today, so my number sentences are always going to say divided by 5. The first thing I could do to work this out is to count in fives. And that will tell me how many fives there are in 10. How many 10 can be divided by? So let's count in fives and stop when we get to 10. 5, 10. That took me two jumps. Five. 10. So I think the answer to 10 divided by 5 equals 2. But I'm going to check first by doing my sharing and grouping. I think I'm going to use grouping. I'm going to put 10 cubes into groups of 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that has made 1, 2 groups. So my counting in fives was correct. 10 divided by 5 equals 2. Ooh, going to look at this one together. This one says 20 divided by 5 equals. So get your fingers ready. Let's count in fives and see how many fives it takes me to get to 20. Are you ready? 5, 10, 15, 20. That took me four jumps. I'd like you to pause and use small objects to check if that is the correct answer. If 20 divided by 5 equals 4, you can choose whether to group or share. I think I am going to share. I'm going to share 20 into five groups. One, two, three, four, five. I've got 20 cubes. Here I go. Are you watching carefully to check that I'm putting them in the right group? Excellent. So I had 20 and I've shared between five and that has given me one, two, three, four in each group. So our counting in five was correct. We counted five, 10, 15, 20 and got to four. Well done if you work that out. Our next number sentence says 25 divided by 5 equals. I would like you to try and work out the answer. The first thing you're going to do is count on your fingers and see how many fives are in 25. And then group or share your objects to check your answer. Pause now. OK, hopefully you used your fingers and you counted 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. That took me five jumps. So I think 25 divided by five equals five. I'm going to check though, I'm going to check my sharing. And what did you say, sharing or grouping? Okay, got my 25. I'm going to share them out. Okay, back to the beginning. Now, you may be doing this thinking, Miss Wilson, I don't need to share or group my objects. I know the answer already. Then that is brilliant. We are just doing it to check our answers. If you don't feel that way and you like sharing and grouping to help you, then that's also brilliant. Whatever way you find easiest. OK, I have 25. I've shared between five. And that's given me one, two, three, four, five in each group. So my counting in fives was correct. Well done, everybody. This is a number sentence that we just worked out. 25 divided by five equals five. We did that by counting in fives on our hand. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. We've also been counting in fives on our hand when learning our five times table, haven't we? Hmm, how would I write that as a multiplication sentence? Five, 10, 
15, 20, 25. Well, I did five, lots of five, and I landed on 25. Five times five is 25. That is the inverse calculation of my division sentence. The top sentence is telling me that I had 25, share between five equals five. And the bottom sentence is telling me if I have five, and I times it by five, so I have five more groups, that makes 25. So it's the inverse relationship, just like we did on Monday with dividing by two. The last thing we're going to look at before we head back to the slides is this. I am wondering what would happen if I divided a number by itself. Five divided by five. Hmm. Because if I count in fives until I get to five, five. That only takes me one jump, so maybe the answer is one. Hmm. Pause now and use your small object to work it out. You can group or share. I think I'm going to share. Let me draw five groups. And share out my five cubes. One, two, three, four, five. And there is only one cube in each group. They only get one. So the answer must be one. So if you have a number and divide it by itself, the answer will always be one. So it's the same if you do two divided by two or three divided by two. It will always be one because each person only gets one each and it only takes us one jump. When counting. Let's head back to the slides and have a look at a word problem. Let's now look at this word problem all together. I'm going to read it for you. It says, the farmer has picked 25 apples. He puts them into bags of five. How many bags of five can he make? Hmm. Now, do I care that there's a farmer? No. Do I really care that they're apples? No, I just care about the numbers. So we have 25 and I'm putting them into bags of five. I could call that groups of five. Let's see how many that makes. So I've got 25, I'm going to put them into groups of five. So five, one lot of five, five, two, so five, 10, 15, 20, 25. So I've now made groups of five all the way up to 25. But the question says, how many bags of five can he make? Hmm, can you see how many bags did that make? That's right, it made one, two, three, four, five. I wonder if we could write a number sentence out of that. I had 25 and I've grouped them into groups of five. Pause now and see if you can write a number sentence for that problem. Hopefully yours looked something like this down here. I started with 25. I divided them into groups of five, and that equaled five groups. Excellent work, everyone. Your task today is to complete the dividing by fives questions on Google Classrooms. I have put some challenges along the way for those of you that are feeling confident with this. Well done, everybody.